praise the Lord. What does that mean? I think so many Christians need to learn what praise the Lord means. It's actually an exhortation telling you to do that very thing, to acknowledge God. I know that the body of Christ, the church, is entering a new season in God. And in a new season, there is always new things that we will come up against. Things that we must begin to exercise dominion over. And it reminds me of a wonderful miracle that I had in my own life many years ago. In this miracle, I knew that God had commissioned me to minister in a certain situation. But suddenly, my physical body, my shoulder personally, was so um, restrained that I couldn't even lift it. I had to be put on some severe medication. And in my heart, I thought, what in the world has happened and what do I do? And as I sought the Lord, he said to me, I want you to praise me, Lisa. But when he said that to my heart, I knew it wasn't a musical praise that he was talking about. I knew it was with every cell in my body, I was to acknowledge who he was in my life and in this situation. And he said, I want you to lift your arms, Lisa, and praise me. And when you lift your arms, you praise me with every soul, spirit, and cell in your body. And I thought in my mind, how in the world can I do that? I was living on pain medication, but I obeyed God. And when I lifted my hands, I'd say, praise you, God. And as soon as I would let them down, my arm hurt again. And the Lord said, do it again. And I'll tell you, my fellow brothers and sisters, I did this for two weeks every day of my life. I didn't care if my neighbors heard me. I didn't care if anybody heard me because I knew God gave me this body to last me a lifetime and especially my shoulder to minister in song with my guitar at a very special event. And the Lord took me into the scriptures in Psalm 8 where he talks about the babes the babes in the scripture saying out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength that thou mightest still the avenger the enemy and the avenger you know who that enemy is that enemy is the enemy of your soul and that stilling means to paralyze you know in the natural i was paralyzed and i needed to have the strength to paralyze my adversary so I could enter this new work that God had for me. And so as I praised him, I gained more than just shouting hallelujah to God. I learned the power of my God as I acknowledged who he is. Further on in this passage, David said in verse Six, thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. You know, Jesus is the head. And you might feel like the baby toe, but still he's put all things under your feet. And I want to encourage you, my fellow brothers and sisters, to praise God by acknowledging all that he is. And you're going to have to find out from searching the scriptures to find out who he is. And as you acknowledge him, he will establish his authority so that you can pick up your authority. And I know I have said this in my Facebook to many of you, but I want to say I'm going to work with leaders that come to our next meeting and how to personally get themselves in that place of establishing the authority, the dominion of God. Because my friends, this is why we were brought to earth. 
And if there's ever a time that God wants to not only establish his authority and dominion in this earth, and especially in the nation of America for those that live here, it is now. And as we come to understand what that means and the preparation for these new things he has for us, we will rule and reign in this hour. So I say come and learn and partake of what it is to pick up your rod of authority, just as Moses did for the Israelites.